Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. And happy, happy Thursday. It is Thursday, March 18th. And today is my ex-husband's birthday. He's 49th. I've been divorced. I divorced him 21 years ago in May. <clears throat> it's crazy. We've been divorced that long. Yeah. But, um, yeah, but it's his birthday today, March 18th. But um, my phone is, I'm filming on my backup phone because my regular phone is actually uploading some of my videos. But, um, so, it's, but it seems to be acting funky, so hopefully it hangs in there. But I completely crashed out. I got out and about for just a little bit yesterday, but then I came back and I was beat. I, I slept, y'all, I'm not kidding. I fell asleep and I slept in my socks, my shoes, my bra, panties, clothes, everything. And woke up, I guess, about midnight and then dozed right back off and woke up again about 3.30 and was like, oh, crap, I got to set my alarm. So, anyways, but I wanted to do today's daily devotional, March 18th, Conscious Choice. And I'm doing it this way because I'm still tired, y'all. I've got a busy day, and I have an MRI today, which is going to take three hours and 45 minutes in the machine. Yay. Anyways, any of those of you that know MRI, Miss Kim, I know you know them. Clack, 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 clack. <laughs> I hate that thing. My ex, when he, well, actually, I didn't tell y'all, but my ex, I found out recently, was involved in a very, very bad car wreck um, back in January which I did not know about, um, and he tried to reach me but couldn't, and none of our mutual friends let me know, and so I um, feel really bad about that because I wanted to be there. I would have been there no matter what was going on between us. I would have set those feelings aside and been there, but anyways, um, I don't even remember where I was going with this. I don't even remember now. I totally forgot. But, yeah, but no, I didn't, I never, I hadn't updated y'all on that. But anyways, um, there was a reason I was going there, and I don't remember. Oh, head for the cure. Got my head for the cure 2020 shirt on. Um, I don't remember what the heck I was even talking about. Oh, oh, MRIs. And so, but he had told me recently when I spoke to him, like, yes, I spoke to him. Um, and he said, man, babe. And he said, like, they put me through an, in through an MRI. And he was like, now I understand. And I'm like, yeah. You know, because, like, I would try explaining to him and to people and, like, showing them videos of what it's like being in the MRI machine. And, again, Miss Kim, I know you know, girl. I know quite a few of y'all know, but I know Miss Kim knows. But, um, Anyways, um, so he got a good taste of that. And and he was like two hours or something in there. So he, he got it. And I was like, yeah, it's nice for people to be able to see. But anyway, so. Okay, so on to today's daily devotional. Conscious choice. Today I have given you the choice between life and death. Wow. Between blessings and curses. Now I call on heaven and earth to witness the choice that you will make. Oh, that you would choose life so that you and your descendants might live. That's awesome. What would you want? Would you want someone to love you if they didn't really want to? If someone were forced or even paid to love you? Ouch. But you knew their love wasn't genuine. Would you enjoy that type of love? Hell to the no. Especially you got to pay somebody to love me or like me. Mm -mm, I'm no hoochie hooker. I, no, I just want to pay you for your company. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we have the conscious ability to choose whether or not we will love God. Amen. Amen. And you better choose to love him because he chooses everything for us. God will not make us love him or force us to follow him. The freedom that we have to choose is the most wonderful and the most fearful gift we have been given. Woo, uh, that is so true. I'm going through that right now. Just being terrified of making choices. And just making sure that I make the right ones. 
with everything in my life, not just treatment. Daddy. So, hang on, let me pause this, guys. Hang on. 